Okay, so this video will show you what is a mold proof function for Daikin aircon. So not all mod models comes with the mold proof, but uh, most of the small aircon units comes with it. So this is a Daikin inverter aircon. Let me show you. If I turn on the aircon, so of course it turns on, the aircon becomes cold, blows out cold air. But one thing is that if you turn off the aircon as in most uh, aircon, it shuts down, the van closes completely. And this is a problem because inside the aircon is very cold. Sometimes it measures only about 3 degrees Celsius. So when it's so cold and you, 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 you shut it off by closing this, all the cold air is trapped inside there. The fan core is still very cold. And as a result, the blower and the internal parts uh, will become uh, wet. And when it's wet, there's a chance bacterial mold starts to grow. So how the mold proof function works is simple. So how do you activate in the first place? Press this button for about 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3. In fact, 3 seconds. Uh, this icon leads up. Not leads up, it comes on. So after that, it's set ready. There's nothing you need to do. To disable it, which I don't recommend you to do, is to press and hold. One, two, three seconds, likewise. So let's turn it on. Okay. So now if I turn on the aircon, as you can see, and I turn it off, but now there is a mold proof mode that has been activated. So what you'll notice is that the fan blade will not close completely. So if this mode has been activated, uh, do not worry. It's not that the, the flap is faulty. And if you look carefully, okay, let me just open this. Actually, the fan is running. Okay, so uh, a customer actually got worried and said the aircon couldn't shut down, but that's not the case. It is the mold proof function uh, that is working. So this is very important because the only way where you can get rid of the the dampness and the coldness within there is to turn on the fan and let the wind do its job. So by running this, it will actually dry up the internal parts. And this will run automatically for about 2 hours. And this is a clever, fantastic solution. So if your aircon doesn't come with this mold proof function, uh, I strongly encourage you to do it uh, manually. And uh, by, okay, let's say if yours is a Mitsubishi aircon, I'm sure you have a mode. So all you need to do is to toggle it to a fan mode instead of just switching off the aircon. So then the aircon will be running on the on uh, this uh, fan mode, but it will not automatically shut down, stop after two hours. So you have to manually go and turn it off after two hours, which which can be quite a challenge. But um, if uh, and uh, what you can do for yourself is that. Uh, if you if you don't have the luxury to wait for two hours or you forgot, uh, you can just keep to keep it running for as long as you can because this fan motor consumes very little energy, maybe about 10, 20 watts only. So you know, one thousand watts then it causes you about twenty cents in Singapore. So uh, ten watts is like a fraction. You know, it's not even like few cents. So it's negligible, and. Uh, and let's say if you are using a Panasonic aircon, you find that you the mode don't have a fan mode, so that is a bit let down from uh, such a good aircon. But you can, uh, but if your aircon comes with a Nano G function for the Panasonic aircon, uh, that, then when the aircon is off and by pressing on the Nano G function, it does activate the fan. So if yours has a Nano G for Panasonic you still can afford to have a fan mode. Okay, thanks guys.